Hi, my name is Dave Whiteley. I'm Technical Director of Envisage UK Limited, and I'd like to uh, take this opportunity to go through um, one of our applications for Inventor 2015 and 2016. You can download these from our website, envisageuk.com, and if you go to free apps, you can then from there download the iTools routines, which give you a number of uh, applications for Inventor 2015 and 2016. In this instance, I want to go through the grid lines for Inventor application, which will create structural steel grid lines for an Inventor model. So I've got a model of a building here, and I want to add a grid line. If we go to the Envisage Apps ribbon, we can then go to the grid lines command, and in here, we can give the grid lines part file a file name. Um, this will be a reference in the bit of material, so it doesn't actually get added to the bomb. And in the X direction, we can create a number of labels. And the offset between these labels in meters. And likewise, in the Y direction, we can create some labels. You can call these whatever you like. And again, offset between the planes in meters. The height is purely the height of the work planes. Um, as they're created in the 3D model. And the good extents, again in meters, is the extension of the work planes, uh, which will help um, the display in the 2D drawing. If we click on OK, that will then create this part with the grid, which we can turn on and off, as you'd, as you'd expect in Inventor. And then if I go to the drawing views, and we go to our Envisage Apps ribbon again, we've got our grid labels and remove grids commands. If I go to grid labels, and select a view that will actually create the grid lines in that view and again grid labels select this view and so on and then when we've created the grids these can be um, edited, grip edited in the drawing should you wish and also in the assembly if we go back to the uh, the grid itself and rename the work planes so if I call this 1.A for instance you've got to keep the plus in front that's uh, to enable us to recognize these planes in the uh, the drawing routine um, so as long as you keep the plus in front everything works fine um, I'll call this 1A if I go back to the uh, the drawing grid Go to grid labels again, select the view, that will then update the views, and as you can see, the grid labels change accordingly to the work planes in the part in the assembly. Just let this refresh, and there's your uh, grid lines for your building. So thank you very much.